it, it was it was inevitable that um, what happened at the presidential election was, was exactly going to happen. I predicted it because you can't have a divided opposition mm. and um, and expect one of them to win. Just look at what was Konkoso doing like that in Kano. What did Obi think he was? What was Obi thinking? Neither what, what was also Atiku thinking that they would defeat the incumbent by all those shenanigans. There's no way, you know. So they, the opposition uh, handed over uh, this victory to Balatinovo. Nobody else, not the citizens, not the INEC officials who were scared of thugs at pulling units or anything. It's the opposition that did this to Nigeria and nobody else. Uh, most regrettable, especially as regards to the subject matter of today's discussion, is the use of religion for politics and ethnicity as well. For me, I am particularly very uh, unhappy with uh, the Labour Party candidate, Peter Obi. He started all these things. And um, yes, there have been uh, quiet and tactical use of religion uh, prior to now within our polity, but it has been very silent. And never has it ever been this obvious. But Peter spent seven months going from one church to the other. And um, he not, not only did he stop there, he went looking for endorsement from Khan. You know, he was so desperate about looking for... But was he the only one? No, yeah, yeah. In this election, he Is was... Is there like, anything wrong in consulting hmm. religious leaders? If, if, if is, 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 Does the law it, 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 forbid yes, it? Yes, section, section 97 of the Electoral Act forbids use of religion of any t any kind. You know, you, you cannot have a presidential candidate going to churches and saying church should take back their country and he's contesting for election. If Atiku had gone around all the mosques since August last year, spent seven months going around mosques all over the country campaigning, wouldn't, we be, wouldn't the whole country go um, almost in flames condemning him? So it cannot be because it is Peter and he's a Christian and I'm a Christian and I should not condemn him. If Atiku does it, I will, I will condemn him. Peter has done it he has set a bad precedence for the country. We, we have seen Reverend Fathers uh, campaigning openly with Peter, Peter Obi's picture, uh, logo of his party, uh, threatening their congregants that if they don't vote for Peter, God is going to visit uh, evil punishment upon them. They will die. They will, those things are wrong. You know, it is what has compelled many people up north to, uh, at the last hour, you know, to also try to use religion. Because you cannot have a leading presidential candidate who spent seven months in an election moving from Cherubu and Seraphim to Catholic Church to Pentecostal to Dunamis to this to everywhere, you know. And he recruited pastors all over the country in Joss. Look at the, that pastor in Joss. They recruited pastors in Nasarawa all over the country to be campaigning for him. You know, it's very bad, you know. And um, aside the use of religion that Peter Abid did, he went further. Everywhere he went to in the north, he went to Southern Borno, you know, Southern Gombe. He, if he goes to Kano, he goes to Sabongeri, where members of his ethnic tribe is. You know, who does that? Goes to Lagos, go to Alaba Market. Ooh, I don't know why, why people become so, you know, very unstrategic. You know, he, they, they are not mindful of their actions. They do not know that actions have consequences. You know, and so he, he did this on purpose. And when many of us criticize him, his supporters who are extremely close to him, who are always with him, snapping pictures, say, the defense they put, put up is that he's only trying to energize his base. So because he did not have structure, he wanted to use structure of the church to become president of Nigeria. How does that make sense? Even to, how, it doesn't make sense to me even as a Christian. How can you want to use structure of the church to become president of a multi-religious, you want to use structure of tribe to become president of a multi-ethnic and multicultural society like Nigeria? So, this is an unserious... He was never serious as a presidential candidate. The most painful part is that he, he, he has brought so much stain to Christianity and so much stain to the issue of uh, tribal politics. And that is why you can now see the momentum with which politicians are now campaigning. Look at in Kaduna. They are openly recruiting uh, uh, imams now for the gubernatorial election in, in uh, Kaduna. Openly. There is a letter where a memo leaked where uh, I think it's from the Kadnasi government where Malams have been paid to campaign for Muslim Muslim allegedly. In Kaduna, allegedly in Kaduna. Then in Lagos, politics of tribe. People are now saying you are not uh, Lagos is no man's land. Lagos belongs to Yorubas. This this and that. So Peter set the template for this, and this is why we keep telling politicians 
Yes, we know that politicians generally don't care about their country. All they care about is, uh, you know, um, the end justifies the means. As long as they are able to use uh, religion, ethnicity, whatever, tribe to drive home their point, they don't care even if their country burns to the ground. However, you know, the irreducible minimums, you know, in any, de in any democratic contest is that you don't divide the populace that even if you win the election, you cannot govern. You know, and that is really sad for someone like me that has witnessed, uh, I've actively voted since 1999, you know, and it is, it's only in 2019 when Buhari locked me up because they didn't want me to vote. I have not voted, you know. So I, 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 I do not understand why uh, Peter became so desperate, you know, that he went as far as using tribe and religion to canvass for votes all across Nigeria. Well, I mean, you, 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 you keep hammering on uh, Peter Obi, yeah. but he was not the only one in the race. He was mm. not the only one who met with Khan. Did, he was did, not did the only you, one who met see, with priests. He did, was not the only one who met with imams. Yes. So Do did, you have any personal thing against him? Well, basically, did you see Atiku moving from church to church for several months? Did you see even Kwan Kwaso visit any mosque? The reason why people say, oh, I said Peter will not win more than two states, that now he has won more than two states. Why don't, that I say if he wins more than two states, I will respect him. The reason why I can never respect someone that uses religion and tribe to campaign is because those are not his votes. Those are votes for the church. Those are votes of those bishops and those reverends, those pastors that were threatening their members that they must vote Peter. I respect Konkoso more because Konkoso did not visit one mosque to campaign. You know, Congress had one million votes, but he has my, and he, he produced 18 members of House of Reps. He has, he has my respect more than Peter Obi. There's nothing personal if I see somebody doing anything wrong. If Atiku had gone, spent seven months going around mosque, I would be more critical of Atiku than I have been of Peter. Considering the fact that I am even a Christian. So for me, criticizing Peter, it means that Peter has done something very wrong that he shouldn't have done. He knows in his heart of heart that he shouldn't have done this kind of campaign. 